Hi, it's me, Rose, and you're watching Team Femininity. On this channel, we talk about femininity, elegance tips, and leveling up for teens, but sprinkled with a little bit of God. So, if that interests you, please consider subscribing and follow me on my other platforms. Links in the description box below. So, today's topic is on the difference between elegance femininity and leveling up so i once talked about it in one of my videos so if you haven't checked my videos binge watch them <laughs> to find the video i talked about but these three things are usually confused in women i should in our journeys okay there are just some women on YouTube which talk about femininity, but sprinkle sprinkle a little bit of elegance, and some talk about elegance, sprinkle a little bit of femininity. It's confusing at times when you're watching them, and you might get confused when it comes to the rules for one society or one community to another. I also talk about the a few people you can take as examples when it comes to these communities so let's start with the femininity no let's start with leveling up okay because i love my mentors but leveling up is basically like a glow up it's basically like going to the next stage in your life this can be financially this can be considering your beauty so it's just basically a glow up on your life you can become a rich which is one of it like you can glow up financially if you know what i mean and you can glow up when it comes to your looks you know if you are if you've been on tiktok you would know <laughs> okay tiktok tiktokers are really good at this as one person you can observe when it comes to this is Laurie Harvey. I love Laurie Harvey, okay? Do not come for me because some people be bashing her and just saying she's a gold digger and stuff. I honestly love her, okay? So, but please do not talk bad about someone because it's petty and we do not do that, okay? But Laurie Harvey is a perfect example. If you do not know her, you can Google her. She she is a perfect example of love and love journey and not really considered in sorry for the background noises, but not really considered in the elegance community. She is considered in the little aspects of the communities, but specifically leveling up. What I mean is that she at times breaks the rules okay there are rules in the communities for example in the elegance community no sweatpants okay you're not supposed to wear sweatpants because it's not classy yet Lori harvey wears sweatpants but you have to admit she really slays sweatpants okay she just looks amazing in sweatpants and i just love her looking at i just love looking at her rocket okay I'm that kind of girl. I just love looking at people be people. <laughs> I'm weird, I know. Another example you of a celebrity who is really considered in her leveling up journey is Zendaya. I have talked about her before. Okay, she is my real model. Period. She isn't really considered as a classy lady by classy lady. She isn't considered as those, um, how should I say, it? really down traditional lady. She's much more considered as, you know, someone who is herself. I don't know how to describe her, okay? She's unique, but really successful in the things she do the things she does i don't know why i get these things wrong but she is a perfect example and she just rocks it okay so let's go to femininity femininity with femininity it consists 
uh it's basically about traditional women how traditional women were or what they're known for so when traditional woman comes in mind i don't know what comes in your mind but to me it talks about that soft nature that cultured woman that who just is gentle you know because in the olden days no most people i'm not even talking about the last year olden days i mean olden olden days like in the 90s they would wear a long dress and just they just had a, a, a very cool look okay i love their aesthetics but that's basically femininity having that self it's so it's talked so much in the feminine community or in the journey communities so for femininity i don't really want to go deep into it but someone you can really consider to be really feminine is marilyn monroe if you have been or if you just started your journey you will lot you will hear a lot about her okay I personally did not know who she was. I mean, I've seen her pictures, but I didn't really know who she was, who she was. But I just learned about her, and I'm already a fan, <laughs> okay? She is so elegant and so feminine. And I'm sorry for the background noises, but she is so elegant and so feminine, and I just love it. And another person you can consider is, I think, Beyonce. I'm not really a Beyonce fan, so please don't come for me, the beehive. But I'm not a big fan of her, so I do not know her everything, everything. But through the observation, she does really look like a really feminine person. (laughs) I'm sorry for the background noises. Okay. I cannot control my people, <laughs> but yeah, and in the elegance community, elegance is basically, it's everything considering manners and classiness, and is really connected to being with affluent people or rich people, the way you conduct yourself around them. So when I think of an elegant person, I really, I do think about Beyonce because although I'm not a big fan of her, but she she is classy, okay? She's a very classy woman, even the way she dresses, okay, (laughs) is kind of classy to me, okay? Don't come for me. But she is a very classy woman. And Marilyn Monroe also exhibits a little bit of class. Yeah, so for Marilyn Monroe, I think she has a bit both femininity and class. Just coming down, people you have observed in in these various communities, okay? These are the people which I really think they stand out. For people like Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner, I think she's in the um, the Level Up community because she really breaks a lot of rules in the elegance community. I wouldn't consider her as an elegant, elegant woman, but I will consider her as a leveled up woman. And I wouldn't really consider her as all that feminine. Okay. I I don't know. I'm not a big fan, so I don't know about them. But through my through some observation and two episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, I did not watch that. I did not watch TV, so I'm just new to all this. But yeah, another one is I think Kendall Jenner. Yeah, she she's really part of the Love and Up community. As I said, she breaks, they break rules, okay? There are rules in the these communities, and a lot of them break them. <laughs> so, for them, but in the olden days, if you really look at actresses in the olden days, like, you will realize that most of them are just so feminine and so classy. Apart from Marilyn Monroe, okay, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really familiar with, um, olden day movies with from 
five people okay i'm not really aware of them but i i do know some people i just don't know their names but that's basically all i have for you comment down some of the names and some of the people because i really need to check them out because we just need to be observing these people you have to know which one is in which community in order to get a perfect mentor and just what do you mean mentor a perfect role model to get that to learn some things from them or to pick up some attitude for example Lori harvey she is also considered really feminine she's really talked in the feminine community but i personally think it's she's a leveled up person okay these are all my opinions they are not in a dictionary or anything but she is really leveled up and she is mysterious i think i've only heard her talk like once and i literally i watch her stories often okay you do not hear her talking often because she's kind of mysterious people like zendaya she does rocks okay she does rocks beyonce the same these people do not most of them are mysterious which is one thing that you should really consider and (laughs) that's it okay so just look at the person if you have a role model just look at that person and be like so what community is she even if it's a youtuber just look at the community she is in it can be a male too okay but just look at the the community put them in a specific community and pick up those traits in which you think they really suit in so that is basically it i hope you enjoyed today's video follow me on instagram at teen feminity 123 link in the description box also follow me on pinterest because why not okay if i have a pinterest platform you should follow me i also have a podcast called teen Femity and depression and that's it okay i just love talking to you honestly because i know <laughs> yeah so stay best bye Thank you.